Welcome to Anime Lore Unveiled, your one-stop destination for all things anime. We're about to embark on a journey into the mesmerizing world of anime magic. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join us on this magical journey. Together, we'll explore the enchanting universe of anime, shedding light on the captivating allure of its magic. From the intricate systems of spells to the profound symbolism, we will unravel the mysteries that make anime magic so extraordinary. So buckle up, anime enthusiasts, as we are about to unfold the spellbinding charm of anime magic. Stay tuned. As in the next scene, we'll delve into why anime magic feels so captivating, so enchanting, so... magical. Have you ever wondered why magic and anime feel so captivating, so enthralling, so... magical? Welcome to a world where the ordinary is extraordinary where the impossible becomes possible, where the mundane transforms into the mystical. Welcome to the world of anime magic. Magic in anime is more than just a plot device or a flashy spectacle. It's an intricate tapestry woven with threads of wonder and awe. It's a realm where the laws of physics are bent and reshaped, where reality is rewritten with the stroke of a brush or the flick of a wand. This is the allure of anime magic. Anime magic has a unique appeal that sets it apart from its counterparts in other mediums. It's not just about casting spells or conjuring illusions, it's about creating a world that's brimming with endless possibilities, a world where dreams take shape and fantasies come to life. It's about the thrill of exploring uncharted territories, the joy of discovering hidden powers, the excitement of venturing into the unknown. Anime magic captivates us with its breathtaking visuals and imaginative storylines. It enchants us with its diverse range of magical systems, from elemental manipulation to summoning spells, each with its own unique rules and restrictions. It intrigues us with its intricate symbolism and intricate lore, with its connections to traditional Japanese folklore and mythology. It's a testament to the creativity and artistry of anime creators, a showcase of their ability to craft extraordinary worlds out of ordinary elements. But what makes anime magic truly special is its impact on storytelling. It's a tool that anime creators use to weave complex narratives and develop compelling characters. It's a catalyst for conflict and resolution, for growth and transformation. It's a vehicle for conveying themes of love, friendship, courage, and sacrifice. It's a mirror that reflects the hopes, dreams, fears, and struggles of the characters and by extension, of the viewers themselves. Anime magic enchants us but, what lies behind its mystic charm? It's not just about the spells and the spectacles. It's about the stories it tells, the emotions it evokes, the ideas it explores. So, come, let's delve into its enigmatic depths. Let's embark on a journey into the heart of anime magic and uncover the secrets that lie within. Magic in anime is as diverse as the colors in a painter's palette. Elemental manipulation, summoning spells, alchemy, the list goes on. Let's dive deeper into this enchanting world to appreciate the myriad forms of magic that anime has to offer. Take elemental manipulation for instance, it's a common trope in anime where characters harness the power of nature. Earth, wind, fire, water, each element a tool in the hands of a skilled magician. Naruto's Rasen Shuriken, a swirling vortex of wind energy, is a perfect example of the sheer destructive power of elemental magic. Then we have summoning spells. These are a staple in many series where characters call upon mythical creatures or powerful entities to aid them in battle. Fairy tale celestial wizards like Lucy Hartphilia, who can summon celestial spirits from another dimension, are examples of this magical genre. Alchemy, on the other hand, is a form of magic grounded in science and philosophy. It's about transmuting one substance into another, following the law of equivalent exchange. The Elric brothers from Full Metal Alchemist embody this principle using alchemy to right the wrongs of their past. And let's not forget about enchantments, curses, and magical artifacts. Anime like Cardcaptor Sakura and Inuyasha make extensive use of these, adding a layer of mystery and intrigue to their narratives. However, magic in anime isn't just about flashy spells and epic battles. It often serves a deeper purpose, shaping the characters and driving the plot. Naruto's journey towards mastering the Rasen Shuriken, for instance, is as much about personal growth as it is about gaining new powers. Moreover, the portrayal of magic in anime often comes with a set of rules or a cost, adding a layer of complexity and realism to the story. Think about the law of equivalent exchange in Full Metal Alchemist, a constant reminder that nothing comes without a price. From fireballs to familiars, anime magic takes many forms, but there's more to it than meets the eye. 
Did you know that the magic we witness in anime often has deep roots in traditional Japanese folklore and mythology? Indeed, the enchanting allure of anime magic often has its foundations in the rich tapestry of Japanese culture. The world of anime is a realm where the fantastical meets the traditional and this unique blend gives birth to the extraordinary magic we see on screen. Let's take a step back and look at the cultural origins of anime magic. The spirits, demons, and gods that often populate anime worlds have their roots in Shinto and Buddhist traditions. For instance, the concept of kami, spiritual entities revered in Shintoism, often appear as powerful beings in anime capable of wielding immense magical powers. This cultural influence extends beyond the characters to the very nature of the magic itself. Many anime series incorporate elements of Anmyodo, an ancient form of Japanese esoteric cosmology. This system, which fuses natural science and occultism, forms the bedrock of many magic systems in anime. Anime magic also draws heavily from Japanese folklore, with many series weaving tales of yokai, supernatural creatures from Japanese myths, into their narratives. These stories, steeped in centuries-old traditions, add an extra layer of depth and richness to the magic on display. The inclusion of such cultural elements serves a dual purpose. On one hand, it anchors the fantastical elements in a sense of familiarity, making it easier for viewers to connect with the story. On the other hand, it adds layers of meaning to the magic, transforming it from mere spectacle into a tool for storytelling. The magic in anime, therefore, is not just about flashy spells and epic battles, it is also a narrative device, a way to delve into themes of tradition, spirituality, and the human condition. It is a testament to the skill and creativity of anime creators that they can weave these profound themes into their magical narratives in such a seamless and captivating way. So the next time you're engrossed in an anime series, remember the magic you're witnessing is more than just a visual spectacle. It's a tapestry woven from threads of culture and mythology adding depth and richness to every spell. From the early days of anime to the cutting-edge productions of today, the portrayal of magic has evolved as much as the medium itself. Like a spell that's been perfected over time, the depiction of magic in anime has seen a fascinating transformation. In the beginning, anime magic was a rather simplistic affair. The classic series of the 60s and 70s such as Astro Boy or Mazinger Z, often presented magic as a mysterious unexplained force. These early renditions were limited by the technology of the time, but they laid the groundwork for what was to come. Fast forward to the 80s and 90s, the golden age of anime, where magic took on a more complex structured form. Series like Sailor Moon and Dragon Ball introduced intricate magical systems where spells and abilities were governed by rules and limitations. This shift added a new level of depth to the narratives, turning magic from a mere plot device into a key element of the story. In the early 21st century, the advent of digital animation opened up a realm of limitless possibilities. Magic became a spectacle, a visual feast that could captivate audiences like never before. From the dazzling celestial magic of fairy tale to the alchemical wonders of full metal alchemist, magic was no longer just a narrative tool but an artistic one as well. Today, anime continues to push the boundaries of magic, blending traditional and modern elements to create something truly unique. Series like Attack on Titan and One Punch Man have redefined the concept of power, challenging our perceptions of what magic can be. And let's not forget the influence of virtual reality and augmented reality technologies. These innovations have the potential to take anime magic to a whole new level, allowing viewers to experience the magic firsthand. The magic of anime has come a long way, growing and evolving alongside the medium itself, always pushing the boundaries of visual storytelling. So, whether you're a seasoned anime fan or just beginning your journey, remember, the magic is in the evolution. So, what does all this mean? Why does anime magic matter? Well, it's not just about the dazzling visuals or the thrilling battles. Anime magic in its many forms and expressions plays a crucial role in storytelling. It's a tool that allows creators to craft intricate narratives, explore complex themes, and construct vibrant imaginative worlds. It's a conduit for creativity, enabling storytellers to push the boundaries of what's possible, to challenge our expectations, and to immerse us in experiences that are truly out of this world. Remember the elemental manipulation in Naruto? The summoning spells in Fairy Tale? Or the alchemy in Full Metal Alchemist? These are not just mere elements of spectacle. They're integral to the plot, shaping the characters' journeys, influencing the dynamics of the world, and driving the narrative forward. 
Each spell cast, each magical encounter, is a piece of the bigger picture, contributing to the overall narrative tapestry. Moreover, anime magic is a reflection of culture. As we've seen, it often draws from traditional Japanese folklore and mythology, incorporating these elements to add depth and authenticity to the storytelling. It's a way for creators to pay homage to their cultural heritage, to share their traditions and beliefs with a global audience, and to imbue their narratives with a sense of cultural richness and historical resonance. Finally, let's not forget about the viewers. Anime magic has a profound impact on us, the audience. It captures our imagination, stirs our emotions, and leaves us awestruck. It's a key part of the anime experience, one that draws us in, keeps us hooked, and leaves us eagerly anticipating the next magical moment. So, in conclusion, anime magic is more than just a spectacle. It's a vital part of the storytelling, a reflection of culture, and a testament to the creative spirit of anime itself. It's a magical journey that we, as viewers, are privileged to embark on, one episode at a time. And that, dear friends, is the true significance of anime magic. Before we wrap up, here's a quick reminder. If you enjoyed this journey into the world of anime magic, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such explorations. Your support means the world to us and helps us continue to bring you more content like this. And if you found this video enlightening or it sparked a newfound appreciation for the magic in your favorite anime, why not Chidori that like button? It's a small gesture that goes a long way in supporting our work. Thank you for joining us on this magical journey. Until next time, keep exploring the enchanting world of anime, keep letting your imagination soar, and remember, the magic is always there, waiting to be discovered. So keep watching, keep learning, and keep being inspired. And as always, stay magical, dear friends.